is the thing when we have something we also have to be more responsible and more take more care of it and that is a problem that's when the conflict can arise because of worry because of deadline because of too much responsibility or feeling too responsible like we have to put the best out for the world to look and we have to do this we have to do that we have to improve all the time we have to organize it we have to you know coordinate we have to fix the things we have to edit we have to ponder which one and what is good for the viewers you see all that adds up sometimes to the tension and the viewers saw us saw me and then that adds up also to the tense energy that just makes me also sometimes often very tense yeah very tense the karma of the world yes yes, yes. Listen, God has only two two kids, Adam and Eve at that time. And he is so aggravated like that, <laughs> that Adam ate only one apple and he, he kicked them out, both of them. And here we have a lot of responsibility, a lot of work. And so if sometimes we have a little honest feeling, then it's normal, okay? Yes, it's No wonder God was very tolerant to humans because he said to the angel, it's so easy for you to be dedicated and uh, working smoothly because you're made of fire. I think uh, maybe fire could also mean light, huh? Oh. And humans are made of earth, of soil. Therefore, it's heavier. It's a more inert material. Yes. And the other material is, you can see, Okay, even if it's fire, it's very light. Nothing you can catch. <laughs> and you better not catch <laughs> the fire. <laughs> anyway. And now you have it, now you don't. Yes, it's very simple. The condition of the wood or the oil or the petrol, those things and the wind and the air made up to create the fire. Mm. But then it could also be gone if those elements are not found together. Uh, the same with us. Actually, we are also made of many elements together, like fire, ether, air, water, and also some iron. The iron in our body could make a cup of nails. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. So we are not all that expensive, really. All the iron can make only a cup of nails. <laughs> what can you do with a cup of nails only? I use a lot of nails. Whenever I move somewhere, I always bring a box with me. A screw driver, or some screws, some nails, different sizes. And then I will nail them wherever I can to hang my clothes or to hang the stuff that uh, that I don't have space for or I don't want it on the ground. But if we uh, uh, take some nails inside our body, only a couple, then we cannot do much, right? <laughs> I need more than a couple. <laughs> you too, if you need them. I'm very handy. Everywhere I I go, I take some very handy stuff, like some metal wire, very thin, easier for me to twist them. And a hammer, a screwdriver, a Swiss knife, and uh, and what else? The pliers. These I always take, mostly when I can. If I'm too in a hurry, then I cannot, of course, but then I would ask to buy or I buy it myself. These things are very handy, yes? You can do many things with them. Mm -hmm. You can also stress them outside to, to hang your clothes, like that. If the wire, you don't make it too straight, you make it loose, yeah? And then you can uh, you can put your clothes here and then twist a little bit and then your clothes will hold on it. When you don't have other things like the coat hanger or any, uh, how say, clothes or pegs. Yes. Uh, yeah, then you can use the the metal wire to twist your clothes, uh, a corner of your clothes, and it holds. I, I can do many things. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have that, and I have soft uh, a string, eh? and I have these uh, coat hangers, the triangle one, I would also uh, make it loose, the string is loose, and then I use the coat hanger to hang on it, and then I twist the thing to hold the, the hook, yes. so that the coat hanger will stay. <laughs> wow. So you don't need to have another peg on it. Yeah, whatever situation, you can try to use your IQ, you know? Because if I keep moving, 
a lot. I cannot have a lot of people with me. I don't want to. I don't want to bother people. And also people's energy are different for me. So sometimes being alone is a blessing. And then if you keep moving, you cannot always have everything. Okay? If I don't have anything else and I hang on the tree branches and all that, it's also okay. But it is easier to fly away. So I just have to tie the two sleeves together. <laughs> you knot the two sleeves together so that it doesn't fly away, also fine. Or if I'm on the river bank, then I just put it on the rock, just flatten it out on the rock. And when it's a sunny day, it dries no time. Hmm. Of course, I don't wash when it's raining. <laughs> All right, my God, where am I going? <laughs> we're supposed to stay in Eden, but now we're kicked out already. Fine. <laughs> After God uh, kicked Adam out of Eden, and one time he missed him. Mm. Oh. He missed him and he felt sorry that he had kicked him out of Eden into the hardship of the material world that he has to sweat to find a living, you know, to find sustenance, like uh, planting vegetables, planting another apple tree from which he can eat as many as he wants <laughs> without God watching, yeah? yeah. <laughs> but it's a hard work. The farmer's work is very hard work. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder maybe that's the way God ordained us to do. That's why farmer people, they are very happily married. They say the, the, the most happy marriage is a farmer's marriage. Mm -hmm. Maybe because that's the way we should do. We should labor with the sweat of our brow in order to find the food to eat. Maybe that's the way God ordained it. Maybe that's why farmers are happy. They are the most happy. And then the next is, uh, I think, doctors. And the other is uh, business, <laughs> business people. There were four or five types of marriages that last longer and unhappier. That's what they, they said. But I remember that farmers are the most happily married people. Maybe they toy together every day. Yes. Yes. One has to rely on the other, and then at the end of the day, they can harvest their own food and feel contented. Yes. And the food that they harvest is fresh, is next to them, with their own energy permitted in it. Thus, I guess they eat, they feel healthy and happy also. Yes. These are farming food doesn't have to go through any long distance and be contaminated or maybe influenced by other people's energy, mood, and maybe sickness even, just like now we have with the pandemic. Yes, yes Master. Master. So everything is contained in their own environment. Actually, there's somebody that has said to us that we should eat local, within a 50 kilometer radius, not further than that. I guess because of energy, the question of energy. Because even though you live with other people, but within the, the 50 kilometer radius, you are mixing already with them together, like a family. The energy is kind of harmonizing with each other. So it's not too far from your own elements or your own energy. Thus, when you eat these foods, you do not feel too much conflict. Oh. Yes, with, with your cells, with the elements within your own body. That's what I guess, <laughs> I think. So now, God one day sitting alone, I guess he's lonely, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sits alone in heaven and then remembers Adam and feels kind of uh, sorry. Yeah. So one day, God went down to the material realm to look for Adam. Mm. He asked uh, if he's uh, okay, if he's healthy, how is he doing? And then he asked Adam, to come with him to a special place already prepared with all the best food, everything, the best, the best delicacies and everything. So Adam sat there and ate vigorously. <laughs> After Adam ate and drank to his heart's content, God asked him, Hey, Adam, now do you wish to go around the whole material world so that you can uh, have a, a glimpse of everything or not? Adam said to him, 
No, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Difficult man. <laughs> yeah, when he's comfortable, <laughs> he has his food, he has his drink. Why would he go anywhere? Huh? <laughs> I agree. Also, I am also like that. But unfortunately, I had to keep moving. But I am lazy to move. I don't feel like it. Even when I was younger, I went around because in Europe, like in France, in the month of August, it is the law that you cannot work that month, that your employer has to let you go on holiday that month. Mostly Paris is empty in August, yeah, no matter what. I even went to some other country, Italy, where I never go anywhere. <laughs> I just went because I had to go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they pay for you one month free. You can go on holiday. So I just went. Why not? That's all. <laughs> uh, so he said he didn't want to go anywhere. But God insisted. He said, anything you want from here, you can take it with you. Anything that your heart desires, but you have to go. Uh, I guess God understood. He's a psychological expert, <laughs> so he worried that maybe Adam did not want to go because, you know, he has food, has drink, has a beautiful scenery, and <laughs> so why, why should he go anywhere? So God knows that. So I said, anything you want to take, please take it with you, but you must go. Oh my God, I thought God was just asking, but now he forced him to go. <laughs> <laughs> 